Hi, I'm Hideki Soda. In this video, I'm going to talk about sample rate in digital audio. This is an essential technical knowledge for recording musicians and video makers. Let's get started. Sampling is a part of the process for capturing and converting an analog audio signal to a digital audio signal. The sound goes from a microphone, mic preamp, and then to ADC, analog to digital converter, before you can record it on a computer or smartphone. So ADC is the key component for sampling. Every smartphone contains an ADC as well as DAC, digital to analog converter, in order to capture and play any sound including your voice for a phone call. Now, the common sample rates, particularly in music production, are 44.1, 48, 96, and 192 kilohertz. 44.1 kilohertz, in other words, 44,100 hertz. And it has been the standard sample rate for audio CD since early 1980s. 48 kilohertz is probably the most widely used sample rate now because it's a standard sample rate for the audio tracks in video recordings, including YouTube videos. So typical camcorders would record the sound at 48 kilohertz by default. We'll get to some details about higher sample rates, but here's a big question. What's the difference between these sample rates in terms of sound quality? Does it make any difference? I would say yes and no, it depends. As you increase the sample rate, the ADC captures a greater number of audio samples in every second. If it's 48 kilohertz sample rate, we're talking 48,000 times per second. So if you could imagine the ADC is taking a snapshot of the sound waveform 48,000 times every second. That's a lot of work. At the sample rate of 48 kilohertz, you can technically record extremely high-pitched sound of up to 24 kilohertz, which is already beyond human's hearing ability. And in comparison, at 96 kilohertz sample rate, it extends the range to 48 kilohertz. It may be confusing as we're talking about two different types of same frequencies. One is the sample rate, and the other is the frequency response of the highest pitch in sound. As you may know, human hearing is limited to about 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Of course, everyone has a different hearing ability, so it is not definite. But any sample rates higher than 44.1 kilohertz can capture the sound in and beyond our hearing range. So that's why most people don't hear any difference in different sample rates. Any sound higher than our hearing range is called ultrasound or ultrasonic. Notice that the relationship between the sample rate and the range of frequency response is actually half or double of the number. So for any reason, if you want to capture an extremely high frequency, up to 48,000 Hz, uh, you would need to set your sample rate at 96 kHz. So the rate is double of 48. But again, we're talking about extremely high frequency that we cannot even hear though dogs and cats may be able to tell us the difference. So why do we need to choose different sample rates for different type of projects? Choosing a sample rate for recording. 44.1 kilohertz was an obvious choice for audio CD production. You can still use 44.1 kilohertz, but 48 kilohertz is great for general production purposes. And as I mentioned earlier, 48 is for video production, including TV broadcast and YouTube. So if you're making a soundtrack for video, you would want to set your sample rate at 48 kilohertz from the start of your project. 
changing the sample rate in the middle of a project is not a good idea. So think about the target sample rate of your finished product. Then you can make a decision at the beginning. 96 is typically preferred in professional production environment. And it's a common practice to record, edit, and mix at 96 kHz, and then down convert it to 48 kHz at the end, so that you can preserve all the harmonics in the master file. If your target sample rate is 96 kHz, then you might want to record at 192 kHz for the same reason. Using 384 kHz sample rate can be suitable for studying dolphins that they are known to have extraordinary hearing abilities of up to about 150 kHz. Here's an interesting fact. Some AD converters actually sound better in a specific sample rate. So do some test recordings and trust your ears to make the decision. The audio file recorded at the higher sample rate can be twice larger in size. So compared to 48 and 96, the file size in 96 is simply twice larger than 48. Using a higher sample rate could reduce the number of tracks in DAW. So that's something to think about as well. And remember to match the sample rate in your hardware, such as audio interface, and all the audio and or video software that you're using on the same computer. This is very important because a mismatching sample rate between devices and software could cause annoying jitter noise in your recording and it will simply ruin your precious takes. Sometimes the noise is subtle, so you may not realize it was out of sync until listening it back carefully with headphones. So always make sure that your sample rate settings are correct everywhere before recording and playing back the sound. Mm -hmm.